My check, my check. Hello, everyone. We're doing this for the third time because Rufus forgot to turn the camera on, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Hello, everyone. I don't know where to look because we've got three cameras on us. Well, one's not really on me. Hello, third camera. Hello, wide angle camera. And hello, me, close up camera. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode. Today, Rufus and I. Hey, Rufus. Hey, what's up? Rufus, who is the man behind the cam? I'm the man in front of the cam. We thought we'd all let you behind the screen yeah behind I, the screen um uh, get to know us a bit better that's what we're yeah. gonna do today right rufus deep into the soul into the soul well i mean i don't know how yeah. deep you're gonna get okay. but uh maybe we will get deep so we're gonna do some quick fire questions for all of you right now we've got a bunch of hilarious questions and some just interesting ones to know about each other and maybe we'll learn something about each other yeah maybe right um but the one caveat is i wrote them and i tore them up meaning that two dyslexic people here um good luck to us reading them we might have to, good thing we can edit this yeah, that's very good. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Rufus, if you could invite three people for dinner, who would they be and why? Uh, Putin. Vladimir Putin, president yeah. of Russia. Or I don't know if, he, if he'll ever not be the president of Russia. Interesting choice. Yeah. You were quite quick with that answer too. You thought about this before. Okay, who's, yeah, the, who's the second and third? And uh, the guy uh, that's based on a movie, Django, the Freeman. Um, the actor or the. Not the actor, the, the actual person character. Who plays. Okay, yeah. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Have you just watched that film or something? Is that why it's uh, front of mind? No, I've been also watching the uh, Netflix. Uh, is it show. themed on a real story? Yeah, it is. It is. I it's a crazy it, it, it's story. a book, actually, right? Is there a book? Uh, I think so. Let yeah. us know if you know. But uh, it's actually a real character and it's an amazing story. That's a good that's a good one. I like that. But him and Putin, I wonder how that'll go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's the third? Uh, uh, Grant Cardone. Who's Just a businessman. Businessman. Yeah. You've got a businessman, a politician, quote unquote, and uh, and the guy who uh, Freeman, fight for freedom. Yeah. Oh, nice, I like that. All right, next one. What would be the title of the book of your life? Um oh, I've already written the book, haven't I? Wink wink. But that's not the book of my life. That's the start of Buzzword Dictionary. Okay, what would it be? Um, well, what do I live for? I live for entertaining people whilst educating them, right? So I guess it would be like, we laughed and learned. We laughed and, learned. We laughed and we learned a little bit, I guess. Kind of what's what I want to do. I want you to laugh and enjoy yourself, but also learn something along the way. All right, Rufus, your question. Here we go. Holding up for me, good lad. Uh, what do you like the least about Matt? Oh! oh. Yes, you we know. want to know this. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, that's a hard one. I actually, we've already done this. I'll give you some time to think. We've already been around this already, but Rufus forgot to turn the camera on. So that's what I least like about you, Rufus, yeah. right now, at least. <laughs> so this is round two, actually. Anyway, Rufus, now it's your turn. What do you okay. like the least about me? Yes. Let's save it a little bit, because I the annoying part that I don't have so many annoying parts about you. It's so, just one major thing. Yeah. If I had to, like, dig dig deep if I had to dig deep into this I would say um, that you're never ready when you're supposed to be ready <laughs> he's like, like yeah let's walk 10 minutes later yeah let's walk 10 minutes later let's walk <laughs> You know what? I'm done with this, Rufus. We're over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the, hey, I guess this was valuable, just not just for you, but for us too, Rufus. I'll try to be on more on time. <laughs> You're always this on time. Takes. I am true. I'm always on time. It's not yeah. when I'm with you. Or, <laughs> yeah. It's not when just I'm like when we're going out for projects. Okay. We learned something about you and me today, Rufus. I'll try and be better. <laughs> if you uh, if you could say one thing to the audience, what would you say? Honestly, right now we'd love feedback because we we know over the thousand sub mark. We're trying new things, doing this VC reaction videos now, which is all of a sudden taking off. Yeah. Constantly trying different things. We would love if you guys just let us all know, hey, this is terrible, or I like this, do this better. Are our thumbnails terrible? Am I speaking too quickly? Do you want to see more of Rufus? Hopefully not. You know, things like that, really. If you had to eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Easy answer, poke balls. How good are poke balls? Let me know in the comments what your favorite poke ball is. Yeah. Fish in there, bit of rice, bit of uh, soy sauce, bit of veg, bit of fruit. It's a pretty good dish. Okay, yeah. But a fun fact about Rufus. Rufus, what did you do before you were working for Lunacorn? I was uh, skiing. You were skiing? You're a professional yeah. skier. He's a classic Norwegian. He's, uh, he's modest. Yeah, another question. Where are you from, Rufus? No one knows. Uh, Norway. Are you? 
I'm born in Sweden. There we go. Yeah. But I moved to Norway when I was five. Yeah. So you're, but you're, and your mum's Finnish, which makes you yeah. very basically. I mean, look at this beautiful guy. Look at his beard, look at his hair. Oh, he's yeah. like the, he's so like the, you're the wet dream of the Nordic uh, utopia, basically. <laughs> you are that, literally that. He is. He's a handsome devil. What do you love the most about your job? That's a good question. Um, so many things. I'm very grateful and very uh, lucky. But, you know, I also believe you make your own luck, right? Um, so what I love the most about my job is that um, I can be original. OG. I can be OG. I can be original. And, this, and what I mean by that is like I, I you know, every single day uh, I'm only limited by my creative thinking and my willingness to execute on it right so i can think of anything and and vlogs videos all this kind of stuff and then it's just you know i have the tools and resources around me to make them a reality uh you know i can't always do that because sometimes i have good and bad days right but i love that i can do something original every day and uh you know obviously things change and you know n some things never stick most things never stick actually but all you need is that one video to be seen by that one person of yeah. 10, 10 views you know and you know and things can change so uh, I love the most about my job is that I, that I can be completely original and completely like honest to myself and like be nice. myself. Yeah, something like that. All right, Rufus, your question. Here we go. Um, here we go. So uh, what advice would you give to your teenage self, Rufus? Little Rufus. Oh, you trust my gut. Ooh, that's a good one. What would we most likely find you doing on a weekend? Making vlogs for you. <laughs> Literally, that is my life. I mean, I work every single day of the week. Um, I love what I'm doing, so it's not work in that sense. But I think, so I recently became a bit passionate about like organic and biodynamic wines. So on the weekends, you'll find me when I'm not vlogging, uh, you'll find me um, talking about sexual and mental health, actually, because that's a passion project of mine. It's become one recently. I think it's important to have a passion. So I talk with a guy called Jamie Finch. Uh, I'm a guest host of Let's Talk About Sex, a podcast from Jamie Finch. Um, so I talk about sex and relationships and self and also drink natural wine. Why nice. I drink natural wine? There you yeah. go. That's, your, that's what I do on the weekend. And cooking for people because I love the host. Yeah. You're a good host. Thank you. So are you. When you was a kid, mm -hmm. what was the thing you wanted to be when you grew up? What did I want to be when I was a kid? You know what I wanted to be? I wanted to be Steve Irwin. I wanted to be like a marine biologist. Wow. Seriously. I wanted to like dive on crocodiles and things like that. And I remember like when he died. My mom was like, this is your chance. <laughs> I was like mourning the guy. I was Whoa. like 14 when he died. She was like, this is your chance. Uh, so I wanted to be a marine biologist. That's what I wanted to That's be when cool. I was a kid. All right, Rufus, you ready for this? If you could trade places for a day with anyone, who would they be? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think it would be like a high-end uh, person in working with stocks in New York. You know, you know, like when they start describing someone as high end, usually the end of that sentence is prostitute, right? Uh, I did not know. I want to be a high end prostitute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been an interesting life for a day. See how see he yeah. how she he or she does it. Is that it, Rufus? That's it. That's all the questions. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know if you want to just uh, us to do more of this. If you want to get to know Rufus a bit more, if you want to get to know me a little bit more. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Rufus, what do we say to the audience? See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love you. See yes. you in the next video, which will be out tomorrow. Goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye. Thank you so much.